Welcome back to another video about Sovereign Chess. If there's one adjective that people use to describe the game most often, it's clearly the word colorful. There are a lot of different colors of pieces in the game, and this can be overwhelming to the first time player. But the thing to remember is that at the beginning of the game, all of these colored pieces are in fact neutral. They can't be moved, they can't be captured, and the pieces are, are neutral at the beginning of the game until one of the players lands on a colored square. You'll notice in the middle of the board there are two squares of every single color that are in the game, but only one of those can be occupied. So if one player is on this red square, then no other piece can be on the other red square. While the white player is on that red square, then they can start to move these red pieces. They can start to move them out, they can start to use them as part of their strategy, until the black player wants to stop them. If the black player wants the, the white player to, to not control red anymore, then they can try to force them off of that square, or they can in fact try to capture that piece on that particular square. Now you'll notice right now in the game, I moved a red pawn out to the dark blue square, which means now white controls both the red pieces and the dark blue pieces. This is what we call a chain of control. Uh, white could continue to pull out the dark blue pieces and land on orange, and right now we would say that white is controlling the red, the dark blue, and the orange armies. Now a chain of control can be very powerful because you can control a number of different colors through having one piece on a single colored square. But of course the danger of that is, if the other player is able to, able to capture that piece, then not only do they control the red army, but they control the dark blue and the orange armies by a chain of control. You don't need to have just pawns. You can control an army with any piece, and you can of course have multiple pieces on multiple colors if you want to control multiple armies using multiple pieces. And so this is of course the strategy and the beauty of Sovereign Chess bringing those pieces into play and using them to dominate your opponent. Now, by the way, you can only capture a colored piece if it's being controlled by the opposite player. So again, when nobody controls a color, those pieces are neutral. They cannot be moved, they cannot be captured, and you can only capture pieces that are controlled by your op opponent. As you start playing a few games of Sovereign Chess, you'll see that this comes out pretty, pretty quickly, and it's very fun to kind of notice what different colors different players are controlling and using those colors to dominate your opponent. We'll talk more about some of the special rules of Sovereign Chess in a few minutes, but enjoy the colors, and we'll be back with another video.